environmental pollution, oil spill. Well, students, do you know what an oil spill is? An oil spill is accidental release of liquid petroleum hydrocarbons like crude oil from tankers, offshore platforms, drilling rigs and wells into the environment during exploration activities. Mostly, this type of pollution occurs due to human activities. But, do you know what type of environmental impacts take place? Let us see some of them. Environment impacts Oil spill affects the physical, chemical and biological characteristics of both water and land. Oil spill also affects the survival of aquatic plants and animals. In plants, it floats on top of the water which reduces penetration of sunlight. Thus, it restricts the process of photosynthesis of marine plants and photoplanktons which is a producer. Thus, it affects the marine food chain. In case of animals, oil forms a thick black layer above the water. The viscosity of water also increases which restricts the locomotion of organisms in the water. The oil coats the body of the aquatic animals which reduces the heat insulation capacity and leads to hypothermia that is decrease in temperature. Example, seal, killer whales. Oil spill also affects the feathers of birds during submerging and impairs the ability to fly and escape from predators. Recent episode of collision of two oil tankers had led to oil spill in Mumbai in August 2010 has proved extensive damage of marine ecosystem and as well as mangrove plants. Control and Preventive Measures 1. The first step in prevention of spills is The Coast Guard must know where the tankers can drive and careful as possible when transporting. 2. Oxidation It occurs as follows When oil contacts with water Oxygen combines with the oil to produce water-soluble compounds. It leads to the formation of tar balls which are dense, sticky and having black spear shapes. They collect in the sediments of slow-moving or lakes or wash up on shorelines. 3. Bioremediation it is a process of degrading and converting oil spills which are more complex compounds into small substances by using microorganisms. 4. Prevention of release of oil or hydrocarbons during transit, exploration or accidents. 5. Through testing of contaminants of seafood before consumption. 6. Sorbents and booms which collect the oil. 7. Controlled burning which reduces amount of oil.